Hey guys, this is Feeder, and Valve decided to go nuts and release four boxes today. So I don't know what they're doing. There's no TI four boxes, and I'm beginning to think that there's not going to be any because it's getting awfully close to the event. But uh, what can you do but open the ones that they've released? So I'm just going to show the rare and extremely rare items because I'll be opening all of these sets in just a moment. Um, but there's no guarantee that I'll be getting the rare stuff. So in the Tangled Keepsake, we've got this nice little bounty hunter set. It's kind of gritty looking. I think it's, um, you know, it gives them sort of an authentic feel like it. Don't love it, um, but I, it's, you know, it's nice. And this is the YYF Bounty Hunter set. So cool. Uh, the courier in this box is a Beaver Knight, which, to be honest, I am not that big of a fan of. It's, you know, I think it's supposed to be adorable, but it's just not the type of adorable that I usually go for. Sorry, whoever made that. Um, Sing Sing's Beaver Knight. Anyway, I'm sure people will be psyched about it. So anyway, that's what's in there. All right, Elemental Trophy. Um, rare rewards. This crazy timber saw set, which I've got to say is pretty cool looking. The little hat is... wow. I just... I love this. Looks great. Um, would be pleased to get that. And I guess that's Ice 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 Timber Saw, which explains the cold weather gear. And the same Sing Sing Beaver Knight is available in this box as well. Alrighty, Cannon's Views. This is a four set chest and comes with the most anime courier I've ever seen. Like, holy shit. This looks like it comes from one of those old um, strategy RPG games. And I mean, it's so ridiculous. It's kind of cool. I don't know. And this other one is like a werebear. I don't know what the deal with this is. I guess it's Virtus Pro. I don't know why they're putting player or team swag in boxes like this. Um, it is giving the team a portion from people who buy the chest, I suppose. But like, I feel like if you're a VP fan, you should be able to just buy this. So I don't know. I guess you have to do that on the community market. All right, and one more. We've got the Eternal Alliance because obviously Alliance needs more money. And that is why this box, by the way, these three are 250 is sort of the usual thing. This one is like four bucks per box. That's ridiculous. Um, and the bonus reward, I have to say, I think is kind of meh. Um, it's a little ward. It's got an A on it. Looks mechanical. Yeah, it's okay. All right, so this is going to take a while, so I'm going to get right down to it and start opening these. I think I'll go across here. So, Tangled Keepsake number one, World Splitter. This is a Bulba Elder Titan. Take a little preview here. You know, it's pretty nice. It's got like a stoic look to it. Can't honestly say that I get that excited about these uh, ET items. All right, moving on. Just gonna go right through these. There's so many. Paul, oh, what are you doing to my wallet? Someone heard that if they released chests, I would buy them. These come with gems. That's really weird that the gem would come on the bundle. That seems messed up to me, but maybe that's just me. Okay, pretty cool profit set. I like the ponytail. That's pretty nice. And it's definitely got like a stylized feel to it. Nice little flower. You know, I think my nature's looks better, but that's pretty cool. Not bad. All right, Mr. Shopkeeper, let's go, buddy. Let's go. All right, this one looks weird. This one looks really weird. What is this? Godlike Spree's gem. Is the gem going to go away when I open it, or is it going to go on one of the items? All right, so this is Slark the Shark, apparently. I actually like the shield and the dagger a lot. The head, I'm having trouble. I'm wondering how it looks in game. I mean, it's definitely unique, but... I feel like it kind of takes the slarkiness away from the slark. <laughs> Alright. Freaking expensive alliance chest. I don't know if anyone watched on Reddit that thing where they quizzed alliance and they were asking them if they knew how much their own sets cost and they didn't. 
Refraction damage absorbed. Cool. TA gem. I don't think I've seen one of those in the wild yet. I hate the hair. I hate the hat. But actually, I think the rest of the set looks pretty cool. It's got like little runes on it. A little bit space age. You know, it's okay. The hair looks... She just... She doesn't look good. She doesn't look very pretty. Is that wrong to expect the female heroes to look pretty? I don't know. Alrighty. So this one's pretty cool. This is the Mushi set. Nice wings. I think those are really nice looking. I like the little tears in them. But the bright red looks great. The hat's pretty cool. Dagger. Eh. A little bit boring, but... Overall, really nice set. Of course, it's for Mushi, who's... Mushi. What more can you really say? Alright, we're not even halfway through here. Okay, Naga set. This one has a lot of armor. Of course, we got the enemies ensnared gem. I almost feel like it's a little too much. But parts of this are really, really cool looking. I think the detail around the waist, that belt, is very nice. I like these little wings on the side. The hat is crazy and probably looks good with other sets. I think that could be mixed and matched. Uh, but the whole thing is its hard to see the hero under all of that. So... For those purists that kind of like the hero to look like the hero, maybe not so great, but it's interesting. It's really hard to judge these sets from here, by the way. The preview just doesn't... doesn't give you the, um... The understanding of what it's going to look like in game from above and this i love the hat it's such a nice little hat i don't know why he's carrying a stick like this not really sure that that jives with me but the overall look of this set is really awesome it's all the hat love that very nice crystal scavenger for meepo with kills which will always read zero if i keep this set for sure all right, another alliance box. This one's tricky, guys. Ooh, a legendary bundle. All right, this actually is quite, quite sexy. I'm gonna open this one because I have some other puck stuff that I like, such as the immortal tail and the ether wings. But this hat, this hat, I need it. Seriously. So forgive me a moment while I open this. Nice loading screen. Really cool hat. Why are these wings legendary? Do they do something special? Oh wow, look at all this! Shit! Mastery gem. This must uh, give custom animations. Okay, that's why these sets are so, so uh, special. Maybe I will have to switch around my wings. Look at that. Is this not adorable? <laughs> Alright. Without uh, further further ado, I'll get back to my job, which is to unbox these chests right now. <laughs> Alright, open in the next one. Something nice. Everlasting Heat. Lena set. Let's see. Eh. I kind of like these little sticking out things, whatever this is, like a cape necklace. Cape necklace? We're gonna call that that. that. Uh, but the hair... Ugh. I like my little genie moon hat or whatever it is much better. Alright, what do we need? We still need another Q-op set. They released two of those at once. Kind of crazy. This... okay. No, no previous before I open it. Sorry. <laughs> I just like the look of that so much. Oh, we got two things here. Hold on. Alright guys, I dropped the extremely rare item. You know what that means. Giveaway! So I will, uh, I'll pick something out for you guys. Um, hold on a second. Let's sort my stuff. So we got this Static Lord thing. Let's preview that. <laughs> Alright, look at this mount. That's kind of awesome. I really like the texturing. I think the color goes great with Disruptor. The rest of it... Um... This looks neat. This looks like something that should be in Jim Rayner's uh, back, but whatever. Alright, I better Oh Well, what if I don't want to open this? Multiple styles plus a loading screen. Should I open this? Let me think about that. I could sell it as a bundle. 
tough. Hard decisions, guys. Really hard. Alright, what do we got here? Mr. Shopkeeper. The Witch Hunter, Anti-Mage. I'm not a fan of this one. You know what? I don't like this set. I think the little mask looks like he's scared of getting sick or something from the other heroes. Which I guess could kind of go with a lore. But mm, the ponytail, almost. But I'm not feeling it in this giant scarf. Nah. So sorry, Witch Hunter. Uh, you know, and it's all a matter of taste, by the way, guys. You know, some people probably love the sets that I hate and hate the sets that I love, but gotta be honest with you. I'm not excited about that one. This one, let's see. Hmm. Well then, that's a really cool looking gyrocopter. I guess that must be the <laughs> custom missile for this or something. Looks like I'll have to open this if I want to see it. I'm willing to do that. Alright, there's the warship bomb that we've already seen. A whole bunch of other crap. Let's go ahead and equip the set items. Wow, that looks complicated. Um, this one might be a mix and matcher. I don't really like the design of the, the copter, you know? It's a little bit too busy for me. But again, might look good in game. That's something I'm gonna have to look at there. Now I have to get all this out of the way. Move, move. I need to open the rest of this. Alright, so where are we? Is this that alliance thing again? Yeah. Alliance. I like that they called it Eternal Alliance too. So, you know, maybe they'll win, um, but it's certainly not a, certainly not a given. Heavenly General, this is um, Storm Spirit meets Skywrath Mage, apparently. The detailing on the robe is actually very, very cool. Not sure I like the hat, but then again, we have immortal hats for Storm Spirit, so we don't need to worry about that. Alright, a couple more. This is... my inventory is just gonna explode at some point. Oh my god, alright. Well, two of those. You know what that means. I was gonna figure out a giveaway, but I think this just became pretty clear. So, given out an inscribed Beaver Knight bundle, which is a Sing Sing courier, and I'll link you guys to the spot where uh, I'll be running that giveaway, so just head on over there and check that out if you're interested. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Of course, the courier that I'm like, eh, yeah. I'm gonna drop two of them. <laughs> so it goes. All right, anti or anti mage. Wow, invoker, because they're really similar, right? Yeah, no. Uh, invoker. Oh, I didn't even look at bounty hunter. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let's go back because this, let's face it, is a really cool bounty hunter set. Look at that hat. You know what? I don't even care about the rest of the set, but I want the hat. Hold on. The hat will be mine. All right. Ooh, nice. Um. Hunter with no name. It's a horse with no name reference. Oh, this is funic. Cute. Alright, let's go ahead and... Yes, that looks awesome. What am I replacing? Oh yes, I'm happy to replace that. So my bounty hunter now looks just super awesome, and I obviously need to go play that after this. So I'll just put the hat there as a placeholder. Alright, so I did open also this invoker set. Not bad. Is this for somebody? No, this isn't for a particular player or anything. It's just a cool invoker set. It's not particularly special, but kind of like the little hair thingies hanging down. That's not bad. Alright, what am I getting out of this? Do I want to open this last? No, I'll open it now. Nice. Why not? This actually is, I think, my favorite set in this chest, which I'm going to get here. Sun Warrior for PL. Okay. Are you seeing this? Because if you're seeing this, you are agreeing with me that it is badass as all get out. Look at this hair. It's ridiculous. That's awesome. I bet it comes with all kinds of custom effects. I think that's the thing about these Alliance uh, sets. They all probably have really cool custom effects. 
which I'm quite alright with. <laughs> Can't believe I got two of these beaver knight dudes. Well, I hope you guys will enjoy one. Alrighty, Neek's set, that's right. Really, really nice. Really beautiful. I'm not sure this set is going to mix and match well, unfortunately. Um, the color scheme is way too different, and the style is very, very stylized. <laughs> Such a way that I don't think it'll mix well, but looks really nice on its own. Alright, last one. Looks like I'm going to be getting another Q-Op set. Why not? Won't be the Mushi Q-Op. Just some other random Q-Op. Dark Angel. So cheesy, <laughs> Dark Angel. All right. Anyway, got a ponytail, which to me doesn't look sexy at all, which I think defeats a bit of the purpose of Queen of Pain. I think the wings look good, and that's about all that I see here that's particularly exciting. Which ones are better? I think in game that Mushi one is going to look better. I think it's just strictly superior. But anyway. That's all the new stuff, guys. Um, sorry I didn't get more of those rare, extremely rare items to show you, but I think I'll just be pleased with the ones I did get and pleased to hand one out. So again, head over to my website and sign up for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to leave me comments and stuff. I usually read those and hopefully I will be seeing you all soon. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> I almost forgot. I will be going to TI4 um, in like a week and a half, I think. So I probably will slow down with the videos until I start releasing stuff from there. I am planning to do that, so keep an eye out. I'm very excited about it, and um, hopefully I'll have something very nice from that to do. So anyway, yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't so that you can catch that upcoming. And everyone have a great night and happy Dota.